Texas, meanwhile, is where we're going to go next. That's set to be the first state to experience today's eclipse, and it's where Americans have a shot at the longest period of darkness, more than four minutes. But the weather there may not cooperate, as you just heard Lonnie mention. Janet Chamberlain is in the small city of Kerrville, Texas, that's near San Antonio. Kerrville has been planning for this for years. People have driven in for hours. Janet, good morning. Gosh, how are they feeling? What's the mood there this morning? Yeah, Tony, good morning to you. There is concern about the weather here, and truth be told, I felt sprinkles a few minutes ago, but the consensus here is stay optimistic. Here in Kerrville, they're asking people to arrive at least three hours early by 10 o'clock local time because of the crowds expected here. And let me give you a look at the San Antonio airport over the past couple of days. Boy, the planes have been packed there. We've been seeing people come in, groups, families from all over the country. Kerrville is hosting a festival here. This is one of three places that they are going to be broadcasting live. NASA's broadcasting live. They've got food trucks. They've got music. And, of course, all the small towns in the Texas Hill Country are hoping to take advantage, get a little piece of the tourist pie. Wineries in Fredericksburg are holding viewing parties. And we visited a glass factory where you could actually make an eclipse-inspired paperwork wait. So, yeah, everybody's trying to get in on this. Um, and for those concerned about the weather, we did happen to run into our friend Stephanie Abrams from the Weather Channel. She's also broadcasting from this area. She told me she saw an eclipse in 1999. It was completely cloudy until five minutes before totality. The clouds parted. She was able to see it perfectly. So there is hope. As for today, in this area, in Texas, Tony, they're asking people to pack their patience because there's just going to be a lot of traffic on the roads. There, there is always hope, though. The heavens may cooperate. Janet, thank you very much.